Finding a shiny Arceus in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond was, and still is, one of my favorite moments in all of Pokemon. But having it, along with all my other shinies, stuck in a pretty mediocre game felt kind of bad. That is, until today. Okay, today is the big day, hopefully. I've been waiting for maintenance on the Pokemon Home 2.0 update where you can actually connect Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, Pokemon Legends Arceus, and Sword and Shield all together and intertwine Pokemon, Legendaries, etc. And I'm just ready to get all these shiny Legendaries out of this game. I love BDSP, it was really fun, but it's just, it's not the best game for experiencing shiny Pokemon like in Legends Arceus or battling like in Sword and Shield. I'm just ready to get these guys out into another game. If you didn't know, Legends Arceus actually shiny locks all the legendary and mythical Pokemon, meaning you can never actually find their shiny form in game, unlike other games like BDSP and Sword and Shield. But with this new Pokemon Home update, we should be able to transfer our legit shiny legendaries from BDSP into Legends Arceus and experience them in the Legends Arceus universe, which in my opinion is one of the most fun and fresh ways to see your shiny Pokemon. So after a super speed reading through these terms of use, yep, that looks good, um, we can check out the new update. So yep, Brilliant Diamond and Legends Arceus are now in here. So we're gonna connect to Brilliant Diamond and start moving over some legendaries. So these four, Arceus, Darkrai, Shaman, Giratina, I'm interested in seeing how they transfer over to Legends Arceus, like what Pokeball they'll have, how they'll look in the game. I'm pretty sure they can transfer into the game, so not Rayquaza, unfortunately, but any mythical or legendary that's in Legends Arceus already, I believe can be in the game and shiny if you transfer it through home. And with that, my legendaries can now breathe a sigh of relief because they're not stuck in Brilliant Diamond anymore, a game that I don't even play except when I Forget my Master Ball, I guess. <laughs> That's basically it. So now we're connected to Legends Arceus. We'll move these over to a, a random Bidoof box, I guess. And I'll, uh, I'll see you guys when I open Legends Arceus for the first time. Dang, okay, they're actually here. I don't know why I was maybe expecting them not to be here, but this is kind of surreal. This is really cool. This is like a ton of hours of my life, and now it's in a game that I really, really like, actually, and can visualize them for real, as opposed to them just being small chibis running around behind me like in BDSP. They look really nice, and the ball too as well. That's the strange ball, I think it's called. It's like a really nice icy blue with like a kind of expanding blue ring when it opens. This is so cool, but I'm, I'm curious what it says on the, on the notes. Let's see. It seems to have traveled across space and time itself to join me from the Sinnoh region, made new, where it met with its original partner in a fateful encounter. They all say that. Wait, Giratina doesn't say where it met with its original partner in a fateful encounter? What the heck, Giratina? Was our encounter not fateful enough? That's messed up. Why doesn't it say that? It's, this is mine. Yeah. I don't know why it doesn't say that. That's weird. All right, this has been enough lollygagging. Let's get all these Pokemon in our inventory, and I guess we'll just bring the Bidoof too. Why not? It's in the thing. <laughs> and you might be wondering why I went to the Cobalt Coastlands. It's because right up here is the top tier visualization spot to take pictures and scenery with the sunset in the background. But anyway, moment of truth. Let's get rid of the UI. I present the shiny Arceus in Legends Arceus. Oh my God, he is huge. Wow, this looks so much better than in BDSP. He looks a lot less like mustard. He, in BDSP, he was like a kind of a gross yellow, especially whenever I was catching him, but now he's like a light gold almost. He looks a lot more majestic and more like a god, sort of, which is actually really cool. And he is so big. But you know what else is big? Not Shaman. <laughs> Shaman is actually just S tier cute. This is a very interesting contrast of Pokemon, but yeah, really glad I could actually see the, whoa, flowers coming out, Shaman? That's pretty cool. Yeah, those, those are cool, Shaman, very good. You know, Shaman, I bet you need a friend. So I did bring you one, and that's why I brought you literal Pokemon Satan right behind you. <laughs> He's bigger than Arceus. Giratina is 
God dang, he thick. And of course, can't forget the sleepy boy, pink colored Darkrai, who is just so cool no matter what. Really, really pops in the Legends Arceus light. All right, these look so amazing, but I want to test some more things out. I want to see shiny legendaries use different moves, and I also want to test out the different plates on the shiny Arceus in Legends Arceus. Okay, I think my favorite plate is the Dread Plate, so let's see what this looks like if we use it on Arceus. That was cool. Ooh, that profile pick is looking nice. How does it look? Wow, that's, that's nice. Dude, the black is so crisp. That's sick. This probably is my favorite, but I want to try out some different plates because I bet it'll all look different in Legends Arceus and dang, this backdrop and everything. Looking good, Mr. Arcus. looking good. And now it's time to cast Judgment, Arceus's signature move onto this Scorpy right here. Why are we punishing this poor Scorpy who did nothing wrong? Well, his shiny is great, but his evolution shiny is not great. So we have to punish him for it. And you already know, we're gonna be casting Judgment, the dark type, by the way, so it's gonna look super cool in the strong style because we want it to hurt. So Arceus, just take care of business, man. <laughs> that was actually cooler and way more violent than I was expecting. I actually felt a little bad watching that Scorpy go down in the dirt, but that's how we have to do it here. Machop, unfortunately, you're next. I don't know why, though. But Giratina is here to take care of business, and... Dude, he is... How is he this big? You could just ride him off into the sunset. Anyway, let's see what his move is. He has Phantom Force, right? Shadow Force. Shadow Force. Uh, I really hope this move looks like what it does in BSP. It does! Ha! <laughs> That is so ridiculous. Goodbye, Machop. Thank you for your service. Take him home, Darkrai. Pulse him. That's a cool move for not even being a signature move. Dark Pulse, nice. Shaman, I forgot how low of a level you were. You don't have to fight if you don't want. You don't have to fight, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you to do Air Slash, but you don't have to do it. Oh. <laughs> All right, Shaman, you mean business. Respect. It's time to see, for some reason, two Arceuses in one game, and I guess we'll just replace them with the other god that's in my inventory and see what the comparison is. Was it worth it? Me beating two whole games, Pokemon Legends Arceus and Brilliant Diamond, all just for a chance to shiny hunt Arceus in Brilliant Diamond, which took me 5,000 resets and like 100 hours. Or maybe I'll just throw the regular one out and it'll look way cooler and you guys will just make fun of me. We'll see. Also, what's the consensus on what the best Arceus plates are? I actually don't know. I haven't seen a lot. Uh, let me know in the comments. And while you're down there, make sure to subscribe if you're not already. It'll help validate the thousands of hours I've spent shiny hunting. Please, I, I, do, I do all this for different colored Pokemon in a children's game. I need the validation. Please help me. This might actually be one of the first times I've actually thrown the non-shiny version out in this game. He actually looks really nice. Dang, that white is so bright, but that dark plate shiny Arceus looks so cool. The red eyes, hmm, I know what to do. This is gonna be the real test. Can the god of all Pokemon pull off the pixie plate pink? Girl, she is killing it. Look at that leg. Yeah, Arceus can pull it off somehow. The Dark Plate and the Pixie Plate have both equally been pulled off. That's impressive. Okay, let's do our first comparison. So a double Spooky Plate on both of the Arceus. That's pretty cool. I like the purple. It's nice and deep. It meshes decently well. Uh, overall, I would give this a 7 out of 10. Not bad, Shiny Arceus. And the regular one? Oh man, that's way cooler. That's way cooler. The white is so bright. The purple is... Oh no. I wasted all my time. Regular was cooler the whole time. This is the Icicle Plate. Ice is one of my favorite types. And I kind of want to see what the regular Arceus looks like in this as well. I feel like the regular one might win out again, unfortunately, but... Oh my god, it's just not even a contest. Why does the shiny look even darker now? Is it the lighting? Why, why is it starting to look bad? Am I going nuts? Am I losing it? Dude, the regular looks so good. 
I also feel kind of weird doing this. I'm gonna stop. Okay, on the Dread, at least they both look great. I really like the aesthetic of the black and red on both of them, but man, the regular looks so good too. This is the first time I'd ever been excited for a Pokemon Home update, but it was actually really cool. It felt really special to see all the shiny legendaries in an actual real world, and I hope you guys enjoyed too. I've got a lot of shiny hunts and challenges coming, so be sure to subscribe for more. Take care, guys.